How much is Russell Wilson at fault for the issues with the Seahawks? Um, he's totally at fault for us discussing the issues fair. of fair. the Seahawks. See you see, you see where I'm going? going? Hey, 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 Russ. The only person you should tell all your business to is the person you got into the argument with. Like, that's the only person you should tell your business to. Because everybody else is going to be looking at you sideways. Imagine me and you got into a beef. And then I had to bring in somebody else in it. Mm -hmm. Let's say Chris Healy. Oh, Jets fan him. I could, Healy, guess what Acho said to me? You know what now? Every time Healy looking at Acho, yeah, Acho looking like a Healy. And Healy like, man, I heard this dude. But then all Healy is looking at you for is like, just keep going with your takes, keep doing the show, and you sitting there, and I'm sitting there with a different knowledge. We on different lanes, different wavelengths. Okay. Russell Wilson has created that because he told everybody the business. Hey, Russell, I saw the police over there last night. Everything okay? Oh, no, no, everything. Shut your trap. Why did you go to that extent to tell all your business? But in terms of him actually being the cause of all these issues, there's three sides to every story. Russell's side, Seahawks' side, and the truth. <laughs> And right now, we wouldn't even be sitting here in conjecture and guesswork trying to figure out what side Russell Wilson is truly portraying. Is he portraying just Russ or the truth? Because we wouldn't know. So I put a lot of this on Russell Wilson and the lack of leadership he has shown in this moment. This got here because of Russell Wilson. Simple as that. Now, this is why you don't clear the decks and get rid of all your veterans. This is the exact example why you don't do that in a team sport and in any situation. You always need checks and balances. Why? Because things get out of balance if somebody ain't there to check you. Mm. And you want to hear it again? Is that a Wileyism? I mean, it was a little too long. Me and Heller discussed it. But, you know, basically, <laughs> it's poetic as hell. Uh, but you always need checks and balances because if things get out of balance, somebody needs to be there to check you. And Richard Sherman was there. Marshawn Lynch was there. Those guys were there. And if you notice through even this firestorm, Walter Jones is in the building, mm -hmm. but he ain't. He's just telling you, I ain't scared of Russ. You know who else? We could talk about Michael. What's the fullback name? Network. Mike Rob. Mike Rob. Mike Rob. Yeah. My bad. I love you. Um, former teammates is like, Russ, calm your butt down. Fair. But no one else really has that kind of cachet or think they do, so that Russell was running through unscathed. But I'm sitting here testifying right now that most of these issues are Russell Wilson-constructed issues. And more so than that, we wouldn't even have any understanding or knowledge of these issues if Russell Wilson was a better leader in this moment. That's fair. No, that's what real. you see here, what you say here, let it stay here when you leave here. Mm. Right? That was a quote in our locker room in Texas. What you see here, what you say here, let it stay here when you leave here, mm. right? Don't let nothing outside yeah. these doors. Were y'all ever on sanction? <laughs> <laughs> Not when I was. <laughs> um, I so I'm with you on that. Like, Russell Wilson, yeah, you, you can't air out the dirty laundry. However, no, 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 however, don't. Russell Wilson ain't at fault for these issues, big dog. What has Russell Wilson ever requested? All he ever said was, I want to be more involved because at the end of the day, it's your legacy. That's all Russ ever said, America. Sell, me, y'all. All he ever said was, I want to be more involved. So, if claiming a desire to be more involved in a team is problematic, then I don't know what peace is. Mm. You the star quarterback. You want to be more involved? What Russell Wilson asked for was noble. What Russell Wilson asked for was intelligent. Sell, let me give it to you in my own experience because my experience is what? Your expertise. It's my expertise. My Sell, I was in a relationship in the past, and I said, hey, I said, I want you to be my best friend. You, first of all, what's your first word? Hey. It was hey. It ain't going well. <laughs> it's like, it's like, hey, I, I, told, I told the young lady, I said, look, I want you to be my best friend, right? Like, I want you to not only be a partner, but also be my best friend, right? That's, I assume you and Anne Marie, y'all are best friends as well. Y'all aren't just. We say it, but. Yeah, fine. It's like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to say it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I said that. She was like, nah, man, I'm too busy. I said, okay, hurt me a little bit, but I understood you're busy at the time. You got a lot, a lot on your plate. Damn. Then months later down the line, Damn. wait a second. I, I want to be your best friend. I want that role too. Because she later realized Whoa. that the request was actually wise, that the request was actually in the best interest like. of the relationship. Mm. A partner Ooh. should not only be a partner, erotic partner, but likely a uh, uh, phileo partner, right? Oh, like going to brotherly okay. love, you okay. feel me? And Psychology. also the sensual parts Psychology. of it as well. Yes. Russell Wilson, your quarterback shouldn't just be your quarterback on the field, but he should also try to be the head coach. They call him a field general. 
for a reason. You want coaches outside of the white lines, and you want coaches Why the line gotta be white? outside of the white <laughs> lines. <laughs> no segregation. Hey, in this era, in this climate, I guarantee you next season the line's going to be black. black. At least straight. <laughs> um, so look. <laughs> Russell Wilson made a noble request. Man, that ain't noble. I'm not going to say that his fault, it's his fault that they got issues. The Seahawks going to look up one day and be like, dang, I wish we had somebody that wanted to be more involved in the offense, that wanted to be more involved in our success. Wow. You really going to say that and hope it lands on everyone's heart like you, like you intended it to. First of all, erotic, it's your lady. I would have looked at you too. Now, nah, we ain't going to be best friends. All you want to talk about is eroticism. Here we go. Somebody sits here and wants to say, I want to be more involved. I want to be more involved. You know what my pushback is? Just be better in the things you're already involved in, okay? Because you act like you maximize all your involvement in the things you're already limited in involvement in. Russell Wilson, we give you the ball every single play. You in the center, and he doesn't count. You get the ball every play. How much more involved you want to be? Oh, you want to skip past your decision-making issues and just go to, I just want to throw it more. We're like, no, when you have the ball, how about you throw it more effectively, more efficiently, yeah. and take what they give you? Russell Wilson, first half of the season, was enamored with the deep ball. For good reason. Mm -hmm. DK Metcalf, Tyler Locker, they were slicing cats. Mm -hmm. Historical record pace, right? And then defenses adjusted. That's what we do. When we're sitting there, when we get our film study, it's usually four games back, right? Yes, sir. So around week five, we got all that we need. And then our defensive coordinator comes in there, belly all out. Hey, guys, <laughs> spitting sunflower seeds on the floor. Hey, guys, check this out. I don't know why these teams ain't running this on them. And you sitting there getting juiced up for Wednesday practice. Like, oh, we're going to hit them with something different, right? And then you, should, you see them on Sunday. And you say, now, I don't know if I should trust Big Belly Coach, but he did call the play. Let's run this defense. We're going to shut it down back there and make them just methodically go up and down the field. What does Russell Wilson do with his more involved self? I want to continue to force it down there. No, no, no. I'm not going to take what they give me. Patrick Mahomes found this out in the Super Bowl as well. And he didn't believe his eyes that were telling them the truth. Take what they're giving you, Russell. That's how you become more involved. You become greater at what you're involved in already. But Russell didn't want it that way. You know why? Because Russell went Hollywood, man. He went MVP vote hood. He got to get his MVP votes. And that's why all of this is hitting the fan right now. He went to the Super Bowl and realized, oh, I'm not Patrick Mahomes. Oh, I'm not Tom Brady. But I'm Russell Wilson. And let me tell you, as an L.A. resident, what Hollywood really means. You just want to be fresh. You want to be on. You want to be seen all the time. But, Russell, you're not going to be seen in the light as Patrick Mahomes, and you're not going to be seen in the light of Tom Brady if you don't take what is given to you. Stop asking for more and just do better with what you got. That's fair. I like it. I like Come it. On, I like man. it. I like it. I like it. But at the same breath, if you're Russell Wilson, let's all be Russell Wilson for a second. You look at Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Tyree Kill, Miko Hardman, first-round pick at running back last year, Clyde edwards alaire mm. You look at Tom Brady. Chris Godwin, 1,000-yard receiver. Mike Evans, 1,000-yard receiver. Antonio Brown, huge future Hall of Famer. Rob Gronkowski, future yeah, Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you look at yourself. He got two. But you say, wait a second. How did I get here? How did I become Russell Wilson? I became Russell Wilson with Doug Baldwin, an undrafted receiver out of Stanford who overachieved, in large part because of me who threw him the football. Doug Baldwin ends up making multiple Pro Bowls, has an eight- or nine-year career. I got here with my top five receivers being named Jermaine Curse, another undrafted receiver, who overachieved, and he overachieved in large part because of me, Russell Wilson. I'm here now because of Tyler Lockett, a third-round receiver out of Kansas State that was looked at as a gadget special teams guy, a punt returner, oh, kick returner, oh. but he had a 200-yard game. He just signed a $69 million extension doing in large part because of me, Russell Wilson. Y'all go look it up, 2014, it right 15, now. 16. <laughs> look at who the leading receivers were for Russell Wilson. Doug Baldwin, the number one. Jermaine Curse was number two. Then when Tyler Lockett gets into the league, it's Baldwin and Tyler Lockett. T uh, Russell Wilson's like, hey, I'm making all these dudes. I'm making lemons out of, I'm making lemonade out of what was once lemons. But furthermore, the crux of the issue for me, Sal, and I'll end it here, is this. Hmm. Russell Wilson ain't asking for nothing out the ordinary. Star players across all sports make desires and their desires are met. Hmm. LeBron James, he plays with Dwayne Wade. Not in Miami. He plays with Dwayne Wade in Cleveland. D. Wade could barely get up and down the court at that point in time. But he plays with his homeboy in Cleveland because what LeBron James, a star player, wants, LeBron James, a star player, gets. Okay, let's talk Tom Brady. 
just Rob Gronkowski. Rob Gronkowski was working at Fox <laughs> last year. Yeah. Now he's a tight end for the Buccaneers because what Tom Brady wants to be reuni reunited with his former teammate, Tom Brady gets. Russell Wilson is a star player. Is he LeBron James? No, I ain't going to say all that. Is he even Tom Brady? I ain't going to say that. But we know this. What star players want in sports in general, star players get. All Russ wants is to be involved in secondary. He wants Antonio Brown. He can't get either. Hacho, I know you're from Texas, and you live in L.A., and you live in the life right now. Let me find out you Hollywood, too. Oh, because you're making a lot of excuses for this other Hollywood, brother. Oh, let's talk how, how I was raised. Even though I'm from L.A., I'm from Hollywood. I don't act it. No sirree, Bob. I act more like a Tom Brady. I, even though I don't have all of the resume and accolades, I still have that mindset. Well, I ain't going to complain about nothing. If it is to be, it is up to me. Here's the remix. If it is to be good, it's up to me. If it is to be bad, oh, don't look at me, mirror. Oh, it's still on me. Yes, sir. Tom Brady's mindset. I didn't hear the complaints like this. Tom Brady didn't blame his offensive line. Tom Brady didn't blame his receivers, even though his receivers were. Who made Tom Brady, as you want to say? Because uh, you're talking about it for Russell Wilson. Troy Brown. Remember Troy Brown? Mm -hmm. Beast. Eighth rounder. <laughs> um, remember Wes Walker? What round would he draft? Oh, he wasn't. Got cut. San Diego Chargers. Went to Miami. Mm. Came to New England. Tom Brady said, don't complain. Don't go Hollywood. I got you. Julian Edelman. What round? What? No, damn. Okay. I and remember Randy Moss, too, though. What? 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 One. Really, really. They already have won three Super Bowls. Don't you do that. <laughs> the point, how many they win with Randy? My point. Here's the thing. You can't be Hollywood like this. You can't deflect. I can't look at you, Acho, if the show is not doing well, which it is. But if it wasn't, I can't be like, Acho, it's a wildly Let me ask too you this. big dog. I have one question. I have one question for you. Get What's us to that? break, Stella, is this. Okay. Tom Brady, he did what I do in relationships. He don't complain about the issue publicly. He just sits there quietly, mm. grasp the understanding, grasp mm. the knowledge, and then he dips. <laughs> Russell Wilson, he's letting the, 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 the Seahawks know, hey, there's an issue. Okay. There's an issue. I respect There's that. an issue. There's an issue. Tom Brady ain't say nothing. He was just quiet, 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 quiet. I'm gone. Mm. Russ is taking a different approach. In all honesty, for the sake of their relationship, yeah. I honestly like Russ's approach better. You He's do? trying to mend the relationship before he dips. Yeah. Tom Brady just said, I'm gone. Well, it took Tom Brady 20 years. I mean, everything runs its course, sir. Uh, but Russell Wilson in the house, in this relationship, Pete Carroll sitting there like, hey, Russ, what's the problem? And then instead of Russell Wilson just explaining that, he run outside. <laughs> it's a problem, y'all. And then Pete Carroll sitting there like, dog, we could talk this out. Russ, get to your senses, brother. Come on.